Hi there. Uh, in this video today, I'll talk a little bit about the London Drum Show. I was there this last weekend and I had an amazing time. It's the second time I'm in a drum fest. The first time was a couple of years ago uh, in the La Rioja Drumming Fest in the north of Spain. It was just a one day show and uh, it was a great experience. The, the clinics, the masters, uh, the master classes were great. There were, there was uh, Gavin Harrison, Todd Zuckerman, Russ Miller, and some other great drummers. They were really interesting, but the exhibitors' play uh, space was small. I mean, I enjoyed it. It was okay for me being the first time, but there were just there was uh, a couple of cymbal brands, a few drum kits, and some cajuns, but it was a small place, and yeah, you could play, but. Okay, I mean, I, I like it, but this time in the London Drum Show, that was huge. That was really big. The master classes were great uh, with Peter Erskine, Anita Niels, Thomas Bridgen, and especially uh, Mike Johnston. I really like this guy. I mean, I like how he plays drums, but I really like how he teaches, how he transmits information. Um, it was it was really, really interesting, really inspiring. And it was a pleasure to see him playing you know, in person, not just uh, through YouTube I, um, as I usually do. So um, the, the clinics were great. And the exhibitor space that was huge. That was there were hundreds of symbols. I could play hundreds of symbols of different brands, different um, series from you know low end entry level symbols to really high end, really expensive ones um, from Zildian, from Sabian, from Main, from Pasty. Those brands I already know a little bit, but then I could play um, uh, brands I've never played before, such as Bosphorus, Istanbul, um, Amedia, um, and many others. The same with drum kits. I could play <coughs> Tama drum kits I've never played before. Uh, some uh, acrylic kits. I've never played an, an acrylic uh, drum set. I could play a lot of different snares. I have a Black Widow, a Mapex Black Panther Black Widow snare. I bought this last summer. And I hesitate between different models. And I finally took this one. I'm really happy with it. But there in the London Drum Show, there were like 12 or 13 um, Black Panther snares. So I could play them all uh, and compare the sound with one and another. Really, really interesting. Um, I could play uh, solid wood drum shells, you know, because you, the, usually they are made by plies, different plies of woods, the typical drum drum shell kit, yeah. and uh, there are others that are made of solid wood, and uh, I've never played this kind of drum kits before, and I could play a few ones there. The sound is really different, and I like it. I've never played before. Um, Diecast um, snares, you know, diecast hoops in the snare. Uh, I really like liked the Tama SLP lap snares. Really like it. Um, so it was a really huge experience, you know, from playing, then going to a master class, then playing different things, then, you know, play another clinic or another master class. Uh, a lot of ideas, two days, just, just surrounded by drums and drumming and drummers and 
it was really really nice and I like London a lot I've I was in London many years ago like 20 years ago just for a, for a one day or two this time I haven't seen anything like any monuments or famous place but I was in the neighborhoods I just eat here and there and saw with people and it was really nice uh, such a great experience I hope to be there next year and I've recorded some videos um, I think I'm gonna upload them so just to show a little bit uh, my experience in the London drum show and thanks for watching and see you soon I get asked about all the time which is how do I know when it's time to move on how do I know when I'm done practicing something and that's tough because you have to think like how well do you have it down when you play this groove you have freedom of thought this is probably one of the first grooves you learned and as you can see I can speak to you freely I can think about how shockingly cold it was right before I got up here, and now I'm fairly certain I'm sitting in a sauna. So, to me, when I have to practice something new, that's one of the first things I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about, do I, do I feel that way when I'm playing? So the first thing is the relaxation. How do you feel when you play something that you're working on? Now, if you're all stiff, you know, let's say you're working on your paradiddle groove, and it feels like this. Ready to move on, I would run into your room and I would hold your arms down and say, you're not going anywhere. You are not ready to move on. That sounded horrible. I mean, then I would give you compliments and build your self-esteem back up. But I would tell you, I'd be honest, that was not good, Billy. You don't get to leave just now. And so you need to get this, which by the way, isn't bad. It's early. That's exactly how I sounded when I started doing this. You need to get it to this point. So it has to become this, where we can freely speak. I can think, maybe that's too loud for this room. And then I can think again and be like, no it's not. There we go. And that's one of the first steps of knowing, are you ready to move on or not?